For Hove trainer Jamie Kingsley, getting into trouble at school was a good thing. It meant he got sent to his grandparents as punishment. And so a love affair with greyhounds began. I used to get kicked out of school to go and work for Nell and Grande when I was younger. Um, loved the dogs, always wanted to do the dogs. Learned a lot from them. Um, and always said to me, you never stop learning in this game. So, and you never do. You learn different things every day, try different things all the time. And you're just forever learning. Um, lucky enough I could take over from them. They still work in the kennels now. Always good advice to have Nan around. So yeah, brilliant that they're still involved. You then went on to work for Ricky Holloway and you did learn a lot from him as well. Yeah, Ricky's was great. Ricky's a great laugh. Um, had some great fun there, great nights racing. Um, learned a lot about hurdlers there because he loves his hurdling, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's just experience learning, listening to people rather than just cutting people out and saying no, what they're saying is wrong. Just listen to everyone because the whole ground world's built on opinions and some opinions are good, some opinions are bad, but they're all bent for the right reasons. It's actually difficult to explain your kennel. The vibe is really nice. You've got nice staff, really relaxed atmosphere, but also the facilities. It's, it's not just that the dogs are so well looked after, but it all just flows and works. Tell us a bit about your kennels for those who wouldn't have been here. So, look, staff is a massive, massive thing for me. Um, I wouldn't just employ anyone. I've got to know that person, trust that person when I'm not here. We all get on really well with like brothers um, and sisters. Um, I think it's good to have a woman in the kennel. Just some dogs work better with a woman's voice than, than a man's voice. Facilities, I think you have to give the dogs every chance. You gallop, swimming pools, walking machines, coming back from injuries. Is, the point is taking a dog to track that's not fit and putting it around. If you can do that at home, then you save so much time and it's better for the dogs. The kennels, look, we, we try to be as relaxed and calm and everything as we can. We're in a, we're attached to home, so it's a busy racing schedule. But everyone's just chilled, calm, and the dogs just respond well to that so much better. And just give them the best that we possibly can, really. Touching on the women's touch again, I, I think it makes the kennel a bit more aesthetically uh, nice to look at as well, doesn't it? Yes, um, Rebecca puts all the flowers on the fence in and looks after the live flowers, the few that we have. Um, it's just nice to have a woman around and keeps us on our toes and the dogs definitely respond to her very well so that's good. You've been at this kennel now for two years and you've done an awful lot of work here haven't you? Yeah we completely knocked all the paddocks down, rebuilt all the paddocks, all the concrete in, forever painting, forever just making the place look nice and respectable, um, makes us happy which the end result is makes the dogs happier. We've got I think it's top of my head 18 concrete paddocks, a lot of them are covered so we can feed in the rain or if, even if it's too hot they got a bit of shade lots of grass runs we used to gallop as a paddock the dogs love that feeding in an hour it just works well for the kennel um the dogs ain't screaming at the bars so they want their dinner and it just gets some children relaxed even quicker if we can all just muck in get fed get done what else do you think is important in training um there's loads of things that are important i think the, the three major things for me is fresh water clean beds and good food if that's right then the rest should come naturally being out in the paddocks just getting dogs out in the paddocks fresh air around the woods around the corner for walks just getting dogs out rather than being in the kennels all the time they're just so much happier the fresh air is good for them it's good for us as well and they just love it and with those walks as well you have a specific way that you think greyhounds should be walked yeah look with dogs walking around the field around the woods whatever i think if you walk a dog on your own it gets a lot more one-on-one -on -one time it respects you a lot more you learn a lot more about the dog and the dogs are just happier because they're getting that one-on-one -on -one attention rather than three or four dogs at a time um it's just nice to get out with just even just for us just to spend a bit of time with the dog learn about the dog get to know the dog and then you'll know when the dog's right when it's not right and it just works well and the dogs are so happy because of the facilities as well so the walking machine we've seen and also the swimming pool yeah, the walking machine, not all of them like the walking machine, some of them prefer to be walked around the woods, but as humans we can't walk for half hour at a certain pace with a dog around the woods to keep them, to keep them fit. Sometimes they just need that bit extra. The swimming's brilliant, especially when you're coming back with broken legs and bad muscle injuries, and even just the next day after a race, just put the dog in the pool. It's just nice, like a really relaxes all the muscles, and we found it really helps with us a lot, a lot. You can tell that you love your job 
which is great, but it does come with its frustrations, doesn't it? And fair play to you, you've been quite vocal about them on social media too. Yes, look, the, the sport is, is the way it is at the moment. Um, we have tried to put some dogs in some open races that have got good form and good, good trials at the tracks and other dogs have been accepted over them, which is a kick in the teeth really, um, especially for the hours and the work that you go in, driving all over the country to get dogs in these opens. And when you don't get accepted, it is a kick in the teeth, especially when you should be accepted. But I think the more people will voice our opinions on that, the better it will be. I'm, I don't know, I'm not a very politic person, but who says that every competition can't be like the Springbok where the fastest 36 or 48 dogs get accepted or, or something along them lines, just I think to make it a bit fairer because there's a lot of dogs and not just myself, other trainers that are in the same boat as me and don't get accepted to get their name out there. But the only way to get your name out there is to win these competitions. But if you're not accepted, then how do you do that? Talking of the Springbok, you've got a bit of news on the hurdling front. Yes, um, I've recently spoken to Danny Raymond, Ian Smythe and Danny Rankin. We're going to grade some hurdles on at Crayford. Um, look, we love hurdlers. My nan and granddad have always had hurdlers. It gives the dogs another chance. Um, so look, we're looking forward to that. There won't be many. There will only be a few to start off with, but it's something that we enjoy and we're looking forward to. And you're making more plans as well. There's a field adjoining your kennels, a huge field that you're hopefully looking to buy. Yes, we, we are inquiring about the field behind the kennels. It'd be lovely to get. Um, we could put in a longer gallop with a bend in it, put in a whirly gig for the pups, bigger paddock for the pups, maybe even more bee breeding. British breeding, I think, is brilliant. We, I think we should all do it. Um, there's no reason why we can't be as good as the Irish if we all do it. And presumably with you know even more money going into this place you not only see your long-term future in the sport but you think that the sport has a, a good strong long-term future yeah look tracks are opening now which is brilliant um the, the more people getting involved um the better um trainers look, there's a lot of trainers that are old hopefully people take on their kennels and with the, the sport survives for a long long time still to come